vehicles on the road provide as much versatility as a Range Rover. Products from the British automaker provide luxury, fantastic styling and unparalleled off-road capabilities for vehicle in this class. Though each model tends to stay on the market longer than some competition, the first-gen model was on sale from 1970 until 1996, they somehow avoid feeling long in the tooth. The 2018 Range Rover Veeler is the new kid on the block. And it might just be the company's best-looking vehicle yet. The Veeler is based on the Jaguar F-Pace and slots between the compact Range Rover Evoc and Range Rover Sport though it's within spitting distance of all of the sport's dimensions. It shares three of the F-Pace's four engine options, a 247-horsepower 2.0-liter turbocharged gasoline engine, a 180-horsepower 2.0-liter turbocharged diesel engine and a 380-horsepower 3.0-liter supercharged V6, the latter of which comes in our long-term 2018 Jaguar F-Pace. A base Range Rover Veeler rings in at just over $50,000, though our mid-tier are dynamic D180 chassis and in quite a few options like Byron Blue Paint, a blackout package, a convenience package and four-zone climate control. The same is true of the interior. Lots of leather and wood accent a simple and clean design. Nearly all Land Rovers and Range Rovers look the same behind the wheel, but the Veeler's new two-tier center stack sets it apart. It combines the traditional infotainment screen with a second screen for climate and drive settings. That second screen just flows into the console. It's pretty, even if it does mean there are fewer real buttons. My biggest complaint here is that it doesn't dim quite dark enough at night. We have to talk about this engine. It's not good, at least not here. It simply doesn't have enough power for American roads. 180 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque may be fine for smaller cities or smaller vehicles, but it feels gutless and anemic running around Detroit. After the initial burst of torque, it falls flat on its face. You're pushing the pedal to the floor and hoping the driver in the lane oversees your white knuckles wrapped around the wheel. I like diesels. I just wish this had a bigger V6 diesel from other Range Rovers. Drovers, 